Oh shit! How the fuck? Whoop tof! Whoop tof! Okay. The fuck? How the fuck do NPCs have so much stuff to say? Like, the fuck? What the fuck? Let's check this area to see if there's anything else that beats fucking lock nut. <clears throat> Something about uh, going into a mire, I think he said. Fucking nonsense, the side quests are fucking ridiculous. Like, in any other RPG, they would be just side quests that you can complete for option as an optional thing and not mandatory. I thought it said the door is fucked. I <laughs> wonder what, what the hell that mean. Fuck. Impossible. My turn. Retreat. Let's keep moving. Enemy sighted. Leave take it to me. Don't be fear. Get the kill. Be simple okay. piece of cake. My turn. Okay. Nice. You, it even beats it. <laughs> it's a tad. And go to the end there. Press some chests there. Even though the, I don't, I'm not even sure what this fucking chest is doing. There's nothing useful. My turn. My turn. Right. Keep that. Go. Leave it to me. <laughs> Handsome and strong. I need to see what this thing is. Yeah, you're done. Cross break! See ya! 
It's okay. almost dead. <laughs> Now we need to head back to the place. Fuck off. Nope, not you. Back to the go back to the inch two test. Holy shit, to walk all the way fucking back to fucking again. No teleportation. Annoying. Watch out. Hmm. Can you imagine if you do this without two bombo on, huh? without dot dash? It would be fucking insane. Eh? The fuck. But then again, I would just like not play it if that's the case. Some fucking dindium stone fucking completely unrelated to the story. The fuck I already completed the fucking required tests. Okay. Off. He looks exactly like that other uh, officer from before with the blue color, except this tie is just uh, yellow instead. <laughs>
行不不。You're quite correct, of course. Both the provincial army and the railway military police have their own roles to fill, each important to the Empire. Query for you then. How would you respond if a crisis were to occur in multiple places at the same time? Captain Claire Revelt, I presume? It's a pleasure to make your acquaintance. I've heard much about you. It's an honor, Lord Alborea. Please, no need for formalities between us. Rufus is fine. Still, you seem puzzled as to what I'm doing in Ruhr. Or to be more specific, how I got here. Do I assume correctly? The country's railways are completely under your control. Had I taken a train, you would have known it. And yet, there are no signs I passed through Ruhr Airport either. The truth is more mundane than fantastic. I arrived aboard the Alborea family's private airship, which currently sits just off a highway on the outskirts of the city, awaiting my return. I... Blind spots are an unavoidable reality. We all have them. As on the ball as you are, you do well not to overestimate your own superiority. After all, the hardest falls are the ones we don't see coming. I'll be sure to keep that in mind. Now, isn't it time both sides withdrew and remove those unsightly vehicles from the streets at once? A provincial army must conduct itself with valor and grace at all times. Would you not agree?
can't believe your family has the top two floors of a world-class high-rise all to itself. Yeah, even high-ranking nobles would trip over themselves to secure a luxury suite like this. I was afraid you guys would react exactly like you just did. That's why I just kept my mouth shut. Sure, it's large, but it's so pointlessly large for just two people. And the only servant we have is Sharon. If you have Sharon, that's the only maid you need, even for a place this big. <laughs> you said it. Well, we'll be guests here for the next three days. So thanks for having us, Elisa. Well, of course. Don't mention it. My, my, my. Is it just me, or do I detect more than a hint of red on Lady Elisa's fair visage? Could she be... embarrassed? Uh, I am not!